Hey, I'm Kate, Plastic Free Mermaid, and today we're making tofu from scratch. Soybeans. And I got a cup of soybeans. So now I'm gonna soak these for about 12 hours. You can do this overnight. I've been soaking the soybeans, and now it's time to blend them. You actually just blend all of it together. Okay, so we've got this blended. <laughs> well, now it's just soy cream. So now we'll bring it to the stove. Now, strain it through this nut milk bag. You can also use cheesecloth. That might be your preference um, because a lot of the nut milk bags are made from synthetic fibers. So you know what that means. Plastic in your tofu. Okay. Oh, yeah. What we're doing here is straining out the fibers of the soybeans so that we're left with more of a cream. Soy cream, yummy! <laughs> now, the reason why I don't advise we eat soy packaged in plastic is because plastic leaches into whatever it's containing. And plastic is actually made from a lot of toxic chemicals, unfortunately. So eating food packaged in plastic can be really bad for our health. You really wanna take your time and try and squeeze out as much of the liquid as possible. All right, probably almost done here. And you see, we're left here with this lovely soy cream. All the fiber has been strained out and set aside and now we're working with the cream. Now we're going to heat our soy cream on medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. Stirring, and also in the meantime, we're gonna make our coagulating uh, substance, which is just water and lemon. By adding half a lemon to about half cup of water. Um, so if you want a more precise measurement, you could say um, one and a half tablespoons of lemon. You can also use vinegar. Um, and then after I do this, I'm going to fish out the seeds. Just plant those, just go check those out in the neighborhood. Maybe a lemon tree will grow, you never know. Just random urban farming. Lemons are really good for cleaning, so now that you have this like squidgy bit, you can take it across all your metal fixtures in the kitchen, really great, or bring it into the bathroom, and just run it through the, the tiles, and zero waste. to add in half of this mixture and we'll see it kind of get chunky more curds you can see that texture changing and then we're gonna add in rest of the mixture. Okay, now we're gonna let this stand for about 10 minutes, keep doing its thing. Already kind of looks like a scrambled eggs, porridge type substance, so. Meanwhile, I rinsed and cleaned my nut milk bag, and so it's sitting over here clean and dry and ready to go. Strain the liquid out so that we're left with just our curds. This is our curds. And then we're gonna squeeze all the excess liquid out, getting the tofu to its solid dry form. Squeeze that out. Mm. Yummy. And now that our tofu has been dried out, we've squeezed out as much liquid as we can, we can kind of just start to form the shape of the tofu. So you just pat it dry into the shape that you want. So you can use the square of the corner to form this little square tofu block. So I'll just set this in here for about 10 minutes or so to drain any more liquid. I'm making a little bit of lunch to go with the tofu. Here's the plate, it's ready. And I've got my block of tofu. We'll see how it came out. Try and keep the shape. 
So you can see my tofu, it's quite thin. So next time I'll make it a little bit thicker. So I've cut my little tofu chunks. You can see. Fresh tofu. You don't need to cook that at all because you've already cooked it on the stove. Lunch is almost ready. We've got the fresh made tofu. I'm just gonna put it straight on my plate. These little tofu blocks. Um, we've already cooked it on the stove, so there's no need. They don't need anything on them. Yum. <laughs> tofu, fresh. Fresh tofu. Mmm. Tastes way better than store-bought tofu. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can add dressing like coconut amino acids or soy sauce or tamari or any homemade dressing to spice it up. This is delicious. <laughs> okay, and to store this, try not to ruin its shape too much. Just use a beeswax wrap. Just seal the edges. The heat of your fingers can kind of melt the beeswax to the glass and that creates a tight seal. Cool, we'll just put that in the fridge. Thanks for tuning in today, you guys. Uh, definitely subscribe to my channel for more plastic free recipes and plastic alternatives and plastic science, all the good things. Plastic Free Mermaid on Instagram and Facebook. iquitplastics.com is my blog. And I hope that you are inspired to try this recipe today. Make your own tofu at home, or at least think twice about buying plastic packaged processed foods. No, not good for the earth, not good for us. It's plastic leaches toxins into your food. Um, and it's not made with love out in those factories and shipped in, you know, from all over the world. So it's not good for our climate either. So I hope that you're inspired and if you're like still don't have no, enough time, maybe your community, maybe there are friends, a group of friends, you could each take on a recipe and someone make crackers and someone make plant milk and someone make tofu and then you all share what you've made and you create a little co-op, very cool. Um, or maybe some local person is inspired to create a business and make tofu fresh, delicious tofu for your community and you can bring your own container or they're packaging it in glass or you know, that's what we need, less plastic, packaged processed food that's not healthy or fresh for the earth or for, for our bodies. We need more fresh homemade local foods that uh, we can bring our own container. We can bring and refill or reuse. These are the systems that we need. So let's support them when we see them popping up in our, in our community, in our local areas. Definitely support these small business people that are doing it the right way, that are doing it ethically and environmentally. It's so important and I think it's going that way. So we have a lot to look forward to and I hope that you're a part of the solution and you enjoy your tofu. Thanks, have a great day.